Hi, this is Laura Lee in the Lou. Um, recording a floss tube. It's been a little while since I did a floss tube. One of the main reasons is I've just been working on the same thing. So when you work on the same thing, um, I tend to be a monogamous stitcher. It's like, okay, there's not much to show except for what I um, had done. But I do have a few finishes. And this is what I was working on furiously. It was a Star Wars, and try to get it without the glare. It's supposed to say Star Wars down here, but I made it, and of course it's, I think it's showing up backwards, but I made it into a baby sampler. And I'm not really into Star Wars, so I don't, I didn't really enjoy this too much. But, um, for the new first grandbaby, Jackson. So I wanted to get that done. So that was the main thing. And the main reason I'm doing the videos because I need to ship this off on Saturday. So that is my Star Wars baby sampler. Um, so I'm going to send that off. The other one I um, finished was my Long Dog Sampler Spangled. Now, it has... I haven't put, there's some black things on here, like I think here's a snail. Um, there's some weird black things on there. I haven't put that, and I'm kind of, mm, um, and I haven't washed it because I started out marking it um, up here with pencil, and I found that I really didn't need to mark it. But... I, I did the little butterflies and stuff. But see here, there's supposed to be these weird black squigglies. And a little, right in here, a little snail. And I didn't really feel the need. The jury's out. And the windows were supposed to be, have a green background. And I thought, I don't, you know, I was like the door. See how the door around it has that green? That was supposed to be in all the windows, but I didn't like it. So I was going to do yellow. And I thought, well, that's going to be the only yellow thing in the whole thing. So I did nothing. But see, I don't know what those, if anybody knows what those black uh, little squiggles I don't know if they're supposed to be, um, and it can't really focus on it, little bugs or just a little design. But up at the top, there's no black work. So I thought, you know what? I don't like it. I'm not putting it. I haven't. I did I did get a frame for it. I found a matted frame at the Goodwill for $6 because the frames were, even just the frame was like $40. So And that... The, the Star Wars thing, I framed that myself. Um, I just, it's really hard for me to pay, you know, two, three hundred dollars for something. The other thing I worked on a lot was this. Um, the no Angel, the Noel Angel. And on that, I made this different i am not going to put the word noel up there i just don't like it so i'm not going to put it but what i really worked on was the skirt and i haven't done any beading i've done some of the metallic um, and this is just ada and i did um i did dye it a little bit with the um because i didn't like it just the plain white I did die, and that's another reason I'm not putting Noel because I have more of this pink hue to it. So I think the skirt's going to be real pretty. I'll do all the beading at the end, but I'm really enjoying doing that. Once I get this skirt done, it's not going to take very long. I'll just have the um, I'll just have this part, and then this side border and her bouquet so i won't have a whole lot to do 
Then the last thing I've been working on is my Linda Myers cottage quilt. And I, I'm doing everything different. I think it looks weird how this part, the little gable part, is so off to the side. And I guess it makes sense. But I guess they're doing it such for such a weird angle. When I went to put it in, I'm like, I don't like that. So I changed it. But I've made great headway. And I actually had to go to Michael's. First time I've been to Michael's in uh, six months because this yellow, I ran out. And I don't know if you can see here, but the dye lot is a different dye lot. But I thought with a quilt... It, it's not going to matter. So I got a lot of that done. I got some of the motifs on this side. And then I've been working on the house. And see how it's still a little bit off center. But I put it more, I just liked it better. And I might change some of the trees. I haven't decided to help balance it. But. And what was real weird about the pattern. I'd never run across this before. Is that all of this gray. When I started doing it. It. Um, it didn't fill in all the signals. This blue gray. All the symbols for it. It would just do a little bit here. And like around the edge. And then stop. And then a little bit here and around the edge. And, it, and then nowhere in the pattern does it say, well, fill all that in with gray. So I had to look at the pattern. When I looked at the pattern, I thought, well, there's a whole lot of house you're not doing. That's because instead of putting all the symbols, they just assume you would know. But I think that is so pretty. Now, I saw this um, pattern on one of the Facebook swap groups. And um, I really, really liked it. It's an old pattern, and I, I didn't write it down. But someone had gotten this at an antique store. They had gotten, um, it was already finished, and it had little quilts on it, but the little quilts were cross-stitched separate and then sewed on. So... And I thought, oh, that would have been so pretty here if I would have had the quilt cross stitch separate and then hung it from the thing. So I am going to um, do one of my projects like that. I have another one that I just got, and um, I am going to do that where the, the quilts hang down. That's all the cross strips. And see why I haven't posted too much? Because I've just, you know, it's taken a long time to fill in all that dress, to do that Star Wars sampler. But one thing I have been doing, I quilt as well, I, as you can tell with all the fabric. And I don't um, show too much, but I made this quilt for my brother oh, years ago. And uh, I always promised him I would make him shams. So in the middle, I'm going to put him and it's his name here and his wife's name on, in the other one. But the quilt's just like this. And it's machine quilted. Um, I do the free, free motion machine quilting. Um, and here's the other one. So I have the two pillow shams. That's on my list today. I have to finish those too. Um, one other thing I'm going to do as far as sewing. And this was done a long time ago. I have these stupid little penguins and what do you do with stupid little penguins this one says kiss the cook this one is a little sailor guy and this one is a little inner trip and they're cute they really are they're quick stitches they're cute but i'm planning on using this material for the purple and the green but see i figure i'll I'm going to think I'm going to make them like this. Here's purple and green. These don't really go together. The cowboy and the, but the boy and girl. I'm going to make project bags. Now these go together real cute. I'll make two different project bags and just put these on the front. I thought, well, 
because I thought about doing them ornaments, but I'm like, well, those are summer themed. They have nothing to do with Christmas. So, like I have this old ornament, and I haven't decided if we're just going to leave it like that. Or if we're going to do something a little bit more fancy. Here, I'm just showing my random stuff. This is a stocking I machine quilted and did some machine embroidery on. That's just a stipple cut, so I need to sew that. Just all kinds of randomnesses. And um, so those are my plans. So my plan is I'm going to finish the Linda Myers with Quilt in the House and the, um, the girl with uh, Noel. That's going to be non-Noel. And because I haven't been starting anything, I've been making myself just let's finish what we've got going. So I am going to think open it up to start one new thing. So I'll probably add that here in the next month or so. Now that I'm done with all the stuff I had to do for other people. But anyway, that's Larley in the Lou. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And um, I'll have to, I have some cross stitch books I'll have to get together for a giveaway. So I'll look forward to that. Thanks for joining me. Thanks. Bye.